Dong, ding, dong, dang it! What you doing there, man? Well, I'm trying to paint a painting. But nothing I do makes it seem to come out like I want. Mm. I throw the paint around, right? I mix it all together, slather it on, and I add all the little bells and whistles that they talk about in the books, and nothing seems to help. Huh. Well, let's see what you got there. Let's see if, uh, you know, we might be all... Ha! 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 Well, I'll tell you what. How about you? Follow me, and I'll show you how it's done! want to paint today? Well, um, I actually really like figure drawing, so if I were to do a painting, uh, I guess I'd have to say that I want to start with a painting a landscape? That's easy! All you gotta need is a paintbrush and the palette and a canvas. You just, you mix up the paint on the, the palette and you got yourself a painting there. Any questions? I have a question! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Let's slow it down here a little bit. Uh, choosing the right paintbrush, it's pretty important, so I'll go over to you one thing at a time. For instance, this is small, I don't use that. It's a little bigger, it's good for, you know, the paint part. And make sure it's a brush, I mean, this ain't a brush, I don't know why, who brought that here? I didn't bring that here. But, oh my god! <sighs> at last, my arm is complete again. Swing your razor wide, swinging bullets! Oh wait, I actually want, I, I want this one, this, this is a little bit better. Let's start with something simple, like the sky. And why do we start with the sky? Oh, I know, oh, I know, Mr. Yes. Uh, yes, Justin Bieber. Uh, because my real daddy left us years ago. No, that's not the right answer! Ah! 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 Stop! The correct answer is... Oh! You paint it first because the sky is in the back, you silly goofball! Put some blue and white on that palette. We want a sky bluey kind of color, cause let's face it, we're painting a sky. I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. So the first thing you gotta do in the painting is to get started with the painting. Put that blue on there like it's vanilla ice. Make sure you mix the darker blue on top and slowly work your way down to the lighter blue. The lighter blue is towards the horizon, and for some odd reason, it's lighter at the horizon, so get over it. Uh, I've been painting for a while, so uh, I'm a pretty fast painter. We're just gonna go ahead and slap these clouds right on top of that sky that we just painted. Now, I'm a huge fan of those big old puffy clouds, I think they're called a cumulus clouds, or something like that. Science is really cool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all over the sky. I use a mixture of white and a touch of blue just so it blends into the sky. Makes it nice. And honestly, clouds can have any shapes. For instance, right now I'm doing those long stringy ones. Kind of like whenever a jet flies by, those clouds get made. Or sometimes they're made naturally. I'm not much of a scientist, however, I did go for art, so science is like a second language to me. That's, well, I mean, it's, it's a good. The skies are coming along. But we had to add, we had to add more to this landscape than just clouds and sky. Let's add some mountains. Well, 
people, so excuse me, I must get some more of that blue on there. So this is going to basically look like the very, very far away mountains. And that's why we use cool colors, because cool colors recede. A little bit more of that white. There we go. Now we're in business. That's all there's to it. You just load up your brush like this, and we're going to go to the canvas. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm using so much blue in these mountains. Well, to deal with this atmospheric perspective problem that we deal with every day of our lives, they're going to look a little bit more blue, distant, far away. So go ahead and mix up that white, because this is serious business. And yeah! It's very exciting. Here we're going to use more pure green colors, like sap green and phthalo green, because there's less atmosphere in the way. What I'm doing now is I'm seriously just making shapes of mountains, no details, none of that. Because I gotta, I gotta worry about more important things in the world, like where the next thing is going to go in this painting. As you can see, it's a pretty stark contrast, so let's go ahead and continue on the painting. We're almost at the foreground. Oh, wait, sorry, before we go on to the next step, uh, I want to ask... That's all the time we have today! Join me next time for Kurt Paint's painting of the landscape and its pistachios. I was so sad and alone.